Today we're going to take a look at copy holders. You might already have used Scrivener's split feature, which allows you to divide the editor into two sections and display different documents in each split. If you haven't used this feature before, I'll cover it quickly now because it leads into what we're doing with copy holders. To open a split, go to View, Editor Layout, and choose one of the split options, or use the split icon in the top right of the editor. You can hold the Option key to change the direction of the split if necessary. We're going to open a vertical split here. I'll open one document on the left, and this other document on the right. Now to open a document in either of these two editors, we need to click on the editor we want to use so the header bar turns blue, indicating this editor is in focus, then click on a document in the binder to open it in the in focus editor. Alternatively, you can drag a document from the binder into the header bar for either editor. Having two documents open side by side is great, but if there's a third document you need to refer to, you can now open it in a copy holder. To do this, drag a third document from the binder, hold down the Alt or Option key, and drop it into the header of this left-hand split. This new section here is a copy holder. Another copy holder can be added to the right-hand split in the same way, and now we're working with four documents within our editor window. You'll notice that copy holders don't have the full functionality of an editor window. They're a lighter version, intended to show the contents of a single document, rather than more complex features like the corkboard. To view another document, drag an item into the header of a split or copy holder. It's possible to drag documents from anywhere a document icon appears, not just from the binder. Dragging an item from the outliner, an index card from the corkboard view, or even a document from the quick reference pane will work just as well. You can change the position of the copy holder by control clicking on its header bar. This menu also contains options to reveal the copy holder document in the binder, and a selection of your recently viewed documents can be swapped in from this menu. You can also use the command square bracket keys to navigate between the documents you recently viewed in this copy holder, like the back and forward arrows in the editor. Each copy holder can be zoomed separately, edited independently, and resized by dragging the lines that separate them. You can close a copy holder by clicking the X in the header bar, or pop it out as a quick reference panel with the icon to the left. Let's look at how this could be used. Say you want to compare a character's behaviour in two different chapters of your novel to make sure the characterization is consistent. Those chapters already occupy your left and right splits. It would help you to have a character profile sheet open, so rather than flip back and forth between the two, you can open the character profile in a copy holder. If you need a reference image, you can open that in another copy holder. Here's another example of how you can use the copy holder in conjunction with the outliner or the corkboard to create a secondary navigation tool. We'll open the text on the left and the outliner on the right, and then we'll open a copy holder below the outliner. Right here at the bottom of the outliner, we can click on this icon, and now any documents selected in the outliner will open in the editor on the left. Click it once more and the icon will change, and now documents selected here will be loaded in the copy holder below. By control clicking on the header bar in the outliner and choosing lock in place, we can lock this window here so the left hand editor remains in focus. Now any documents we select in the binder will appear in the left hand editor, and anything we select from the outliner will appear in the copy holder. The outliner above has become a navigational tool for what appears in the copy holder below, without affecting the binder and editor on the left, and you can use this to browse a folder of notes or reference materials while you're writing. That's all we need to cover for copy holders. If you're interested in learning more about the features of Scrivener, our other video tutorials should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing.